Welcome, friends and allies, to another episode of Just Ask Lovely. And today we are going to be talking about snowbirds. Now, for those of you that don't know, snowbirds is a term that's often referred to vacationers that come from up north and they want to go vacation somewhere, normally southern in the south where it's tropical and warmer to get away from the very very cold air and snow well for any of these snowbirds that are planning to travel from say canada to florida um coming up maybe for the holidays or you know the beginning of the new year you probably really really want to reconsider and not be traveling especially internationally right now now there's multiple reasons for this as we all know the omicron um, virus is out and it's causing a lot of travel restrictions so if you are planning to fly or come from canada to the united states you are going to be required to get a test within 24 hours. There's only a 24 hour window. You can't do it 25 or 26 hours. It's gonna be within 24 hours, a negative test before they will allow you to get on the plane and come across into the United States. Now, you might think, okay, well, I know where to go. That's easy, no problem. Well, the, the real danger in lies is if you go to Florida and you're not staying with family, you're going to get in a situation where you might not be able to be tested. There's not enough testing facilities that you can get in in 24-hour notice to be able to have a negative test come out and fly back home. The other danger is, is what if you test positive and you are not able to fly back home at that point. If you're going to be trying to come into Florida for a month or two, um, you're not going to have anywhere to stay at the end of that time. With spring and March coming up, um, everything will be pretty much rented and, and taken up for more of the locals or people in surrounding states. So you really want to be, be very, very cautious of that. In fact, it's really a better idea if you are in Canada to try and vacation somewhere that you can drive to or you're staying with family where you know you're not going to get kicked out and have nowhere else to stay or you're, you're closer to home. Now, there's also another reason that you probably don't want to be coming internationally into the United States for a vacation over the next two to three months. And that is because of what's going on in Russia and with the Ukraine. Um, some of you may have seen it, some of you may have not, but, you know, some of the sen senators on both sides, Republican and Democrat, have um, been talking with um, Biden and saying, and this is crazy to even hear, but have been talking about a nuclear strike not being off the table if Russia decides to possibly invade Ukraine. So even just with the threat of that, um, tensions are getting very, very high. Um, they're already a civil discourse in, in the United States on a huge scale. You factor that in with the travel restrictions, the testing, and the possibility of war. If you are in Canada, um, you really, really don't want to be trying to come over here. Right now is not the time for a vacation here no matter which state it's in honestly uh, this is a difficult time for everybody and we know we're not trying nobody wants to tell somebody they can't go on vacation they can't you know they don't need to be locked up they're locked down in their houses or anything like that anymore but 
honestly, if this is something that you're considering, it's probably a really, really wise idea for you to reconsider. Uh, you also don't want to get stuck. You really don't want to get stuck somewhere and the rates go up a huge, a huge amount by the end of February, beginning of March, if that's when you're planning on vacationing. So, just a little more information for all you snowbirds out there. There's lots of places closer to home that you can have a wonderful vacation and keep yourself and your family s safe. Now, if you like this video, please be sure and hit the like button. Or even if I would appreciate it, if you enjoy the videos, take a moment and subscribe. Also, if you're planning on going somewhere for vacation or were planning and you needed to cancel, please let me know in the comments, you know, where you were going or where you were planning on that maybe is a dangerous area that you had to cancel. Um, love, to, love to hear about it. So let me know in the comments and maybe we'll do a video on some other places too. No matter what, everybody please just be safe out there. Really all that matters is you're with your friends, you're with your family, you're with the people you care about, and you're staying safe. That's what we all want for each other. And let's all try and spend our time being a little kinder for each other and looking out for each other. And that's really more than anything what this video is about. I will see you in the next video. Thank <music> you.